What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, four division world champion Mexican superstar boxer Mikey Garcia, he states that undefeated two division world champion, four time world champion superstar boxer Javante Tank Davis has made a mistake in choosing undefeated junior welterweight WBA regular champion Mexican superstar boxer. Well, should I say Mexican star boxer because he's not a superstar yet in Mario Barrios. Mario Barrios will be fighting Javante Tank Davis June 26th on pay-per-view. With that said, Mario Barrios, 26-0, 17 minutes by way of knockout. He's 25 years of age. He stands at 5'10 with a 71-inch arm reach. He will be taking on Javante Tank Davis in his next fight. Prior to that, he was the co-main event to Javante Tank Davis when he fought Ryan Call and got a knockout victory. With that said... You know, uh, Javante Tank Davis is undefeated, 24-0, 23 wins by way of knockout. He's 26 years of age. He stands at five foot five and a half with a 67 and a half inch arm reach. Last time we saw him in the ring, he was the co-main event. Uh, excuse me, he was the main event when he took on four division world champion Mexican superstar boxer Leo Santa Cruz and knocked him out in dramatic fashion. So both guys got a knockout. In this case, Mario Barrios at five foot ten. Javante Tank Davis at 5'5", five five, he's going to have a 5-inch height advantage over Javante Tank Davis. Uh, he's going to have, with a 70-inch arm reach, 71-inch arm reach, he's going to have a 4-inch arm reach advantage over Javante Tank Davis. But Tank Davis has a 67-inch arm reach, okay? So, Mikey Garcia, he's saying that Mario Barrios uh, may have been uh, uh, the wrong uh, choice for Javante Tank Davis for his next fight, Okay. Mikey Garcia, being a former world champion, being a four-division world champion, well, he knows a little something about the sport of boxing. Now, he didn't know when it came to uh, facing undefeated, unified WBC, IBF, welterweight world champion, superstar boxer, who is widely considered by many to be top three pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the world, and Earl the True Spence Jr. He thought that he saw something in Earl Spence Jr. that he could jump up in the weight class and challenge Earl Spence Jr., but... He lost every single round against Errol Spence Jr. With that said, Mikey Garcia, 40 wins, one loss coming at the hands of Errol Spence. 30 wins by way of knockout. He's 33 years of age. He stands at 5'6 with a 68-inch arm reach, okay? Uh, last time we saw him in the ring, he defeated Jesse Vargas via unanimous decision. That was uh, February of 2020, okay? So uh, Mikey Garcia is stating that uh, Mario Barrios is a very big guy, you know, at five foot ten with a seventy-one inch arm reach, and Javante Tank Davis being, you know, five foot five with a sixty-seven inch arm reach, and moving up, uh, essentially two weight classes because his last fight was at one thirty. He only campaigned at one thirty-five one time. That was against a uh, former three division world champion, former Olympic gold medalist, uh, Yuriokis Gamboa. Uh, but Yuriokis Gamboa. He got injured in the second, third round, and he popped his Achilles, and he lasted to the 12th round. And Javante Tank Davis' power didn't seem to uh, translate up, you know, uh, up in weight like, you know, uh, he, he showcased when he was at, um, when he showcased his uh, punching power at the lower division. The punching power he displayed against Leo Santa Cruz, it wasn't the same. Now, he dropped Yoriokis Gamboa a few times in that fight, and ultimately in the 12th round, he stopped Yoriokis Gamboa, but he was hitting Yoriokis Gamboa with big, clean punches. Uh, and Gamboa is known to be chinny, and yet it's, he still popped his Achilles and was able to survive to the 12th round. Uh, so Javante Tank Davis, immediately following the fight, he stated that he wasn't too comfortable at 135, so he wanted to campaign at 130. Now he's going to go all the way up to 140 and challenge Mario Barrio. So that's interesting. So Mikey Garcia is saying that, he can't count out Javante Tank Davis because Javante Tank Davis is very athletic. He's very gifted. Uh, he's very explosive. He does have power in both hands. Uh, he's saying, but Mario Barrios also is very powerful. Uh, he's very, you know, uh, he has power in both hands. Uh, he has a ring IQ. And, you know, he's very, very tough out. He hasn't lost. He doesn't know how to lose. So uh, he's saying maybe Javante Tank Davis may have bit off more than he could chew. Well, the thing is, I'm guessing that they're banking on the fact that Mario Barrios doesn't have the best defense. He doesn't display the best uh, set of, uh, skill set on defense. You know, he gets hit a lot. Uh, he's in action-packed fights. 
and maybe they're expecting, you know, uh, him to get hit a lot against Javante Tank Davis. And maybe because there's a lot of, you know, reports and there's a lot of talk and chatter that Javante Tank Davis, he's struggling to make weight. So moving him up to 140, maybe he'll be able to be more comfortable. He'll wait, he'll make weight more comfortable and maybe his power will translate. Now, obviously, again, we saw him when he moved up to 135 and his power didn't seem to translate against, uh, you know, uh, Yoriokas Gamboa, who was a guy that proven to be chinny, okay? Uh, and ultimately, he did get to stop his victory, but he is also admitting uh, that, you know, he just, his power didn't feel, he didn't feel comfortable there. He's a big guy, you know? Uh, now Mario Barrios is even bigger than Yoriokas Gamboa, you know? Uh, and he's young. He's only 25 years of age, Yoriokas Gamboa. Uh, was seen far to be far past his prime. Yuriokis Gamboa, you know, um, is is you know uh, not as durable as he once was. You know, he's just not the same guy. Here we have a completely different scenario where Mario Barrios, as Mikey Garcia stated, Mario Barrios is in a situation where he's going to be very motivated because this can make or break him. Okay, uh, this ultimately, you know, um, could could see Mario Barrios trans into superstardom and he's going to be very hungry you know uh yoriokas gamboa is a guy that's only five foot five you know with a 65 inch army so he actually has uh shorter arm reach than javante tank davis javante tank davis has a two inch arm reach advantage uh and he they're the same height so you know um but the size physical size wise you know he struggled with the with this with the, the size of yoriokas gamboa you know to a degree you know um so uh, Gamboa was 37, 36 years old when they fought, you know, he just wasn't the same guy, 30, 37, 36, 36, 37 years old. Uh, he had been knocked out previously a uh, numerous of times. He was stopped by, you know, uh, Terrence Crawford. Uh, you know, he lost to Robin Castinilos, Castinilos. Uh, you know, he just, he, he was dropped a few times in his fights. He was, he has a, uh, um, stretches of inactivity. So Yoriokas Gamboa just simply was not the same guy. And so uh, Mikey Garcia is saying that this is a 50-50 fight. And uh, he's leaning towards Mario Barrios because Mario Barrios is the bigger guy. Mario Barrios is ultimately going to be very, very motivated because this is a chance of a lifetime. And this could have been a mistake on the part of uh, Floyd Mayweather uh, and Javante Tank Davis to you know, uh, pick Mario Barrios. Now, obviously Mario Barrios has been featured on their card. Uh, Mario Barrios is with the PBC. So they know what they're getting in Mario Barrios. But the thing is, you know, can Javante Tank Davis overcome the size disadvantage when it comes to Mario Barrios? It's his power that we, we saw it on display against Yoriokas Gambo. He still got the job done, you know, but now you're going up a whole nother weight class with a guy that's probably going to hydrate and not even probably does God is going to hydrate even more than Yoriokas Gamboa. Okay. Uh, Yoriokas Gamboa, he probably hydrated to, you know, maybe 145. Okay. Uh, maybe one, 147. Okay. Mario Barrios, he's going to probably hydrate well into the 150s. Okay. And he's a bigger guy at five foot 10 and he's going to have a 71 inch arm reach and he has power. So that means that he can keep Javante Tank Davis at bay. We saw Leo Santa Cruz, who has a, a 70 inch arm reach, and uh, he stands at five foot eight. His range and his length and his uh, boxing ability, his jab was giving Javante Tank Davis pre plenty, plenty of problems. And Javante Tank Davis is admitting of that as well. He says he got hit far too much than he uh, should have in the fight with Leo Santa Cruz. Now, maybe it's the fact that Leo Santa Cruz is just not a big puncher. He's very, he's a volume puncher. He's not a power puncher. He's very active, you know, so maybe Javante Tank Davis, he just didn't respect Leo Santa Cruz's power. This is going to be a completely different story of Mario Barrios because uh, Mario Barrios has more power than Leo Santa Cruz, and he's more rangy than Leo Santa Cruz. He's bigger than Leo Santa Cruz, okay? Uh, and, you know, uh, he's this is a chance of a lifetime. Now, Leo Santa Cruz, he was accomplished. He was already a four-division world champion. He's already very accomplished in the sport of boxing. Uh, so it's a completely different scenario when you're talking about Leo Santa Cruz and the opportunities and the opportunities of Mario Barrios. Leo Santa Cruz is already in big, big fights. Leo Santa Cruz, 37 wins, uh, one loss at the time, one draw, 19 wins by way of knockout, uh, 32 years of age and stands at five foot eight with a 70 inch arm reach. Okay. 
Uh, now he has two losses, the knockout loss to Javante Tank Davis. Uh, but prior to that, he only had one loss to Carl Frampton, and that's a loss that he, you know, uh, rectified. It's a completely different scenario. Mario Barrios, looking at this, is a, uh, he's chomping at the bit. This is an opportunity in a lifetime for Mario Barrios, so he's going to be very, very motivated. I, myself, personally, I do think that it may be a, a tough fight. It may take Javante Tank Davis some time to get accustomed to it the range and the distance and the uh, timing and the, you know, activity of Mario Barrios. But I believe once he gets it down pat, he'll be victorious in this fight. Um, but I do believe that Mario Barrios will present some problems to Javante Tank Davis. Uh, Mikey Garcia, he says he believes 50, 50. He's just, uh, feeling like maybe they picked the wrong, wrong opponent, you know, to go up to 140 and challenge. Now he's the regular champion. He's not, you know, uh, the official WBA champion. That is, you know, um, uh, Josh Taylor. Josh Taylor is unified. He's the WBA, IBF, undefeated world champion. He's going into an undisputed showdown with the other undefeated unified WBC, uh, WBO world champion, Jose Ramirez. Uh, that's going to take place May 22nd. So uh, they'll be fighting a month after Jose Ramirez, Josh Taylor, unified. And those belts may become vacant after the winner of that fight more than likely is going to go up to welterweight to challenge the, the last undisputed uh, junior welterweight world champion, three-division world champion, uh, superstar boxer, who's currently the WBO welterweight world champion and considered by many to be the best fight in the world in Terrence Bud Crawford. So maybe uh, the winner of that fight vacates, and by the time they vacate, maybe the official WBA title will be on the line. Maybe they'll elevate Mario Barrios to super champion at that point in time. Uh, and the belt will be for the super belt, you know, so we got to see how it unfolds. But I definitely think that Mario Barrios is going to present some problems for Javante Tank Davis, but I still expect Javante Tank Davis to get the job done. Um, I don't know if he get a knockout victory, but I definitely believe he'll walk away with the victory, but it's going to be a hard for fight. Can't wait to see how it plays out. That's all I got for y'all. Make sure you hit the like button, drop a comment in the comment section, let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy, Blue, Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV. All one word. Y'all already know what it is. Shout out to the entire LDBC. Shout out to New Media. Shout out to Black Media Row. Make sure you like your shady videos. That's all I got for y'all. Peace. Oh, it is your boy Jaden Kiss. Make sure you check out Blue Blood Sports TV. It's going down.